So who has seen this movie? Young guy working in the mail room, big boss comes in, bumps into him by accident, and he says, hey, listen, I need your help. Can you come help me for a second? And so the young kid follows the boss and uh, does whatever needs to be done, and, and a couple of things happen. The young man realizes that he is smarter and more capable than he thought, and he could do this job, and the boss thinks the same thing. Right? So one thing leads to another, the kid progresses, becomes successful, and Hollywood makes a movie. Now, if you have not seen the movie, you can imagine it, right? And the reason that this is a great story is because right in front of our eyes, you can literally see this person's trajectory of life changing by pure accident, right? Had he not run into the boss, maybe this wouldn't have ever happened, right? And that's what makes it a movie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what Genesis Works does, except without the accident. We take young, underprivileged high school students, and we train them to provide valuable services to corporations. And then once trained, we assign them to work in a meaningful internship during their entire senior year in high school, in a corporation, and discover that they can succeed in this environment. Now, to truly understand Genesis Works, I need to tell you about how it started. So back in the summer of 2001, I was a corporate strategist working for a big corporation, and I served on the board of directors of a charter school. I went to the graduation ceremony one uh, in, in the summer of, of 2001, and I saw these kids really happy about graduating from high school. I realized that most of them were, this was first in the family to graduate from high school, so this was in and of itself a huge accomplishment. So I went down to the floor, not thinking much about it, wanted to congratulate them, shook their hands, and one by one I asked them, what are you going to do now? And they said, well, I'm just going to continue my job. I said, okay, what do you do? Well, I'm a cashier, I'm a hand packer, I'm in construction. And right there I thought, okay, what happens next? You're in this occupation for three, four years. How in the world can you ever shift from that to a career that allows you to live in the economic mainstream? They can't. They don't. And so here we go, poverty for another generation. And yet that night, as I looked into their eyes and their faces, I saw potential, potential that they didn't see. Because you see, these kids grew up in the inner city, so close to downtown that they might even be able to see this from their school window. But this might as well just be a postcard because this is not their world they grew up to believe. They have told me that the only way they ever thought working in a corporation was as a janitor or maybe in the cafeteria or in the mailroom. Entering as a professional and succeeding as a professional is just not in the cards for them. So I thought, okay, what if I take a kid that when he gets up in the morning, he sees this in the mirror. He thinks of himself as this. The only expectation in these communities is for people to get a minimum wage job and hold on to it for a few paychecks. So if that's how he sees himself, what kind of choices is he going to be making in this critical senior year in high school? But if I could allow him to realize that he is smarter and more capable, and he can actually succeed in a corporation, what difference could that make? In this choice that he's going to make in the senior year of high school, which is going to influence the rest of his life. And I wonder, could it be that simple for him to look at himself just a little bit differently? I thought so. And I came up with the idea to start Genesis Works. But there was only a problem. I was a corporate guy. I had absolutely no clue about starting a social enterprise. I didn't even know the term social enterprise existed. I had never raised any money. I had never sold a product or service. I had no idea what I was doing. But I had an idea, and I had passion. I saw a problem, 
and I saw a possible solution, and I was absolutely determined to do something about it. And so I quit my corporate job. I told my wife I was only going to do it for five years and then go back to my corporate career. All I wanted to do was to just get it started, change the lives of a few kids. 32 was my goal. And then once I got there, I'll stay on the board. I always thought I would stay on the board, but I'd go back to my corporate career. Uh, that was our first office. It's our little donated office. And I started with 10, 10 kids. And boy, that first year was tough. In fact, we almost didn't make it. But we did. So the second year, we had 20 students. And, and one of them, I'll tell you about, Hector. Hector worked in a subway sandwich shop. He had absolutely no intention of ever going to college. But he came into Genesis Works, and he realized by working in IT, in an electric company, that not only could he do IT, information technology, but the people around him were not any smarter than he was. And yet they had an education, and they had a much better lifestyle. So when he finished high school, he decided to go to college. He went into a four-year university, and the first year was really, really, really hard. In fact, he almost didn't make it. But he did. And four years later, he graduated with a four-year degree. And today, at the age of not even 30, he's a project manager in the server division of a major computer company, earning more money than his family ever thought possible. But what Hector is most proud of is the influence that he had in his younger brother and sister. He tells me that to him, going to college was an impossible task. But for his younger brother and sister, now that he succeeded, it was just an expectation. Well, Genesis Works worked. What started out as a simple idea to change the life of just a few students worked. And I started out with 10 students, then became 20, then 40, then 60, then 100. Then we expanded beyond our first city, which was Houston, into Minneapolis, St. Paul, then Chicago, then San Francisco and Oakland. And last year, we served 1,000 students. And now tonight, we are here to talk about tomorrow's talent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what tomorrow's talent looks like. And it is upon us to provide the opportunities for them to have options in life. Now, many of them will go the corporate route. Many of them may even become social entrepreneurs. But the key thing, they will have options. Now, every one of these students is going through our program and is discovering that they are smarter and they are more capable than they ever thought possible. 95% of them are going to college. But what's more important is that 75% of them are succeeding through college. Why? Because they've seen the light at the end of the tunnel. They have a new reality in their mind. They know what to expect now. Now, having seen this, for Genesis Works, the goals are much bigger now. Because 1,000 is just the tip of the iceberg for us. Now, do we have the answers as to how we're going to play a much larger role in fixing the problem? No, we don't. In fact, I have more questions now. But I'm determined to work so we can solve them. Now, people ask me all the time, now that Genesis Works is a national organization with multiple locations, people everywhere, systems, technology, problems, headaches. If people ask me, if you knew this back then, would you still have quit your job and started Genesis Works? And my answer is no, I wouldn't have. But not because I didn't believe that we could achieve what we did, but because I didn't think I was smart enough or capable of running an organization like this. You see, I started Genesis Works because I only had an idea and the passion to go do it. I did not have the answers. So to you in the audience today, those that are aspiring to be social entrepreneurs, I have one advice for you. If you see a problem that you are passionate about and you have a solution for it, 
Don't wait until you have the answers. Because the fact of the matter is that you won't get the answers. If you see a problem and you can think of a solution, just do it. Just do it. You are young. You have time. You can figure it out. And the fact is, is that you may succeed or you may fail. But regardless, I promise you that at the end, you will know that you are, small, you are smarter and you are more capable than what you ever thought was possible. Thank you.